All right, welcome back to Exhaust Sports Auto. My name is Kevin. We haven't done one of these videos in a while. It's a 2007 Lexus ES350 review. It's gonna be a quick one because I have done a video on this car before, but I thought more than ever, the importance level on this has skyrocketed because everything is so overpriced right now that I was looking for cheap daily drivers that normal human beings can drive around in. Rich people are not affected by what's going on in the world today, you know, like 7, 8, 10, 12, whatever percent inflation is that right now. Rich people aren't affected by that, but you and me, like the regular person, this affects us greatly. So cars are a crucial part of everyday life. We need them to get to work and back safely, right? All around family, kids, etc. So for 10 grand or a little under 10 grand, I found this ES350 and this video is courtesy of Carry Imports. That's where this car is located and they will sell you high mileage warranties on this vehicle because this car does have 155,000 miles on it. And at least it is a V6, you know, it's not like one of those four cylinder things that most cars are today. It's a proper engine. It kicks down well, it's got a six speed automatic transmission and I love this transmission, there's nothing wrong with it. And it is a supremely quiet vehicle and because it's a proper luxury car, it will isolate the speed from you. So you can be doing over 10, 15 miles uh, over the speed limit and you're not really even gonna notice it. So that's a trait of a quality machine right there. And for everyday kind of American driving right driving in a straight line making casual left hand right hand turns the vehicle tracks straight the, the steering does feel a little loose to me but it the vehicle is driving straight is the point and there's not a crazy amount of wind noise in here either i unfortunately never got the chance to check out the gs350 from the same era that's such a hard car for me to find but the gs is supposed to be the slightly more edgy and sporty vehicle because it is rear wheel drive but the gs eventually failed because this is what most lexus buyers want and they sell this at a lower price because it's front wheel drive it's got the strut based suspension up front not double wishbones because the price point on this is correct and it delivers the refinement the comfort that you need for daily drivability this overall sold way more units and this is just what most people want and i can see why this is checking all the boxes for the most part i mean if you drive it like an idiot then it's just not going to be that satisfying and we can test out some of this handling here this little circle definitely has a tendency to understeer that's obvious but again for most people driving this it's not going to matter the reason why i'm so interested in a car like this is because most people drive like 100 miles a day and they just want a car that's not going to break their back, <laughs> right? <laughs> so this is going to be one of those vehicles. The only real con that I have with this car, it's, it's two cons really. The fact that you can't fold down the rear seats, which I'll talk about in the interior segment. And also the fact that the crash test safety on these cars, it's not the best, especially for this era. Uh, the RX models, even the older ones of this generation, always tested pretty well for crash test safety. So something to keep in mind there. That's my only two gripes with it, but hey, I mean, I guess it's better than riding around a motorcycle, right? <laughs> but because it's a sedan and because it's a little bit lighter, it's gonna be a little bit better on fuel. So that helps, especially in today's economy. And it's gonna be cheaper to buy into than something like an RX because everybody wants an SUV. The prices on those are a little bit higher. So you just gotta factor in what's important to you, how much you drive, where you drive to. Uh, just think about those things before making a purchasing decision. But for me, because I do predominantly city driving and I don't drive a lot, like less than 10,000 miles a year, I don't have an issue going with an ES. But that should pretty much sum up this driving review. You know what this is by now. It's a comfortable, quiet machine, truly quiet machine with a silky smooth V6 with satisfactory power that keeps building the six speed automatic transmission. Absolutely excellent. No problems there. So put it on your short list. It's definitely something to consider. Let's go ahead and let's transition over into this interior segment now. Okay, so now that we are done with the drive, let's go ahead and talk about this interior space. As you can see, 
I really do like the design of it, but there are some flaws like, you know, it is a vehicle with 155k miles on it. So you will see some wrinkling here and also on the back seats, you have some kind of rips, if you will, right? But, you know, for a vehicle of this price, mileage and age, I don't really mind it but just something you got to be wary of you know a lot of people they expect perfection out of a vehicle of this mileage and vintage but don't expect that <laughs> okay but this isn't bad though it's uh it's built really well we can uh, start it up it's got push button start always a always a great thing of course everything about this interior space it is timeless it's pretty elegant there's nothing really to date it there's no infotainment system just your basic radio controls very basic climate controls clock and i do like the way that this gauge cluster looks as well and as you can see that's the mileage all that good stuff one touch automatic windows for all four windows these little wood inserts really well put together in here doesn't shake doesn't rattle nothing like that memory seats here as well the doors feel relatively solid without being overweighted i like how you're gripping grain here with the steering wheel a couple of volume controls here and we even have heated and cooled seats in this vehicle you do have some wear here but that is a great little touch and they do work even till this day just turn that right right there should be good to go this really slow to react but Two solid cup holders right here, good size. And I like these uh, these gear lever knobs. They're really kind of well put together. It doesn't feel flimsy and floppy, which is a great thing. And all of this, easy to use, no problem, easy to adjust. So I do appreciate that. And again, it's minimal kind of creaks and rattles, nothing too crazy. I really appreciate it. The glove box has all the little books in there. So there's not a whole lot of space in there, but it's okay, you can put something in there. And this glove box situation, a little bit different the way that it opens, kind of strange. But it's there, good space down there for sure, and you have to press on this to close it. I don't remember that, I've done a review on one of these vehicles before, I think it was a newer model year, but still, this is a little strange the way it is. But the comfort of the seats, it's truly excellent, I really like how soft and plush these seats are. That's one of the things about the Acura TSX I owned back in 2010. The seats were very kind of stiff and cardboardish. This is not like that. You can do a lot of miles in here and not feel fatigued. You also have your, your mirror controls and you have your gas cap, your trunk release, and a little coin tray, if you will. And you have a physical parking brake right there. Okay, so the rear seats, that's kind of your space right there. The seat is sort of set to my driving position. I do sit a little bit closer to the steering wheel, but because of that, I have actually pushed it back a little bit for you to give you a real world perspective. I am five foot 11, getting in and out of this very easy. And the space is definitely respectable, especially since this was built in an era where vehicles weren't like massive, you know what I mean? And that's an overall look at the interior as well. It's a good looking place to, to spend time. Most importantly though, it's well built in here. It stands the test of time. That's what I like here. Uh, that's why I can forgive some of this, you know, what the hell is this nonsense, right? Um, some of the imperfections with the interior. I can actually deal with that because the overall thing is, is built pretty well. But yeah, headroom is decent. It's not terrible. You do have a little sunroof here and your sunroof controls along with uh, sunglass holders which many vehicles surprisingly don't come with nowadays uh, well there's a few vehicles that don't come with it so it's nice to have that here and as mentioned before these windows are one touch up and down for all four windows it's not double pane glass but it's relatively quiet in here it's not really a big deal especially for a vehicle of this price finally here's the uh, the trunk release it does need some provoking but there it is it's a little bit worn out i guess but the trunk space in here is truly excellent. I don't know what this is, like a piece of the fender. I don't, I don't, I'm not really sure, but either way, you have excellent trunk space here. Let me see if there's a spare tire. Yep, there is a spare tire under there as well, which is a great thing to see. I couldn't really find 
Yeah, like these seats do not fold down in the ES model, so it's the only thing that pisses me off. But you do have a little pass through, I suppose, so that's good. But in a front wheel drive vehicle, I want to see the, the seats folding down in the rear. It just makes it a little bit extra practical, but fortunately this trunk space is pretty good. And that was a quick look at the 2007 Lexus ES 350. Definitely a daily driver that I really respect and appreciate. And of course, I appreciate Carry Imports for allowing us to take a look at this car. Sure, it's not like perfect, but hey, don't expect perfection out of this vehicle uh, with this type of mileage and age. But for the most part, for this price, you can't really beat it because at least these cars are built well. You know, they stand the test of time, as you saw in the interior segment. And the silky smooth V6, it's going to keep running like a cockroach no matter how many times you try to spray it. No matter what you try to do, put water in the, in the fuel tank. No, I'm just joking. Don't do anything like that. I'm just <laughs> trying to make a point here. These are reliable, well-built vehicles, okay? So I appreciate it for those reasons. Quiet, comfortable, quick enough for the streets. Sure, the handling isn't super inspiring, but hey, it's good enough for just everyday American roads, right? Driving primarily straight, driving on the highway. This is gonna be more than enough for you. Put some good tires on it, you're good to go, right? And if you want, because the car is so affordable and you wanna hedge yourself against any future kind of repairs, whatever, I know it's a Lexus, I know it's reliable, but if you want, Carry Imports will sell you a high mileage car warranty on these vehicles. So if you wanna cover yourself, you can, or if you just wanna buy it, whatever, it's up to you. So thanks again for watching this video. Take care and goodbye.